what's going on guys, Funksman here and welcome back to another redstone tutorial and today guys I'm going to show you how to make this really cool and simple hangar door in Minecraft Pocket Edition so if you guys are excited for that make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new and without further ado let's get right into today's video. As you can see we have a really nice looking hangar that you can use in some kind of military base with a 3 by 9 door over here which looks really cool as well. If we press this lever you can see that our door is going to go down revealing an airplane inside of our hangar. This is of course a working airplane in Microsoft Pocket Edition that I made a while back which you can check in the top right corner or you can check a variation of this plane which is a bomber airplane that I also made but you can see that the airplane fits this theme absolutely amazing and I think it's a perfect fit for this hangar. Of course you can basically store whatever vehicle you want, maybe something like a tank over here, but in my opinion the aircraft looks absolutely amazing. We just have some chest with some uh, storage and various different airplane parts over here just for some kind of decoration and I think the overall hangar looks absolutely amazing and the door is really simple, you can see if we press this lever it's just gonna go up and the rest for this is incredibly simple, I know this may look a little bit complicated but it's actually incredibly simple. All we have is just three triple piston extenders right next to each other, so that's why it looks like the redstone is really crowded, but they are incredibly simple to make, and I'm going to show you how to make them right now. So the blocks we're going to need for this are sticky piston, redstone, redstone repeater, redstone torch, observer, some kind of immovable object, in my case we're gonna go for obsidian, and some block for a choice. We're going to start off by placing three sticky pistons facing upwards right on top of each other. Then we're going to grab our block for a choice and from one block away just go ahead and make this kind of shape. We are basically going to make a little tree over here. You can see if we break these blocks we're gonna get a shape of a number three. Then go ahead, grab yourself the rest on torches and place them right over here and also on the back side just like so. Then the final torches that we need to place are right over here and as you can see they are going to activate all of our sticky pistons right there. Then from this torch over here go ahead and grab yourself the redstone repeater and place it on for tick delay. Have that going into a block with another repeater coming out of that block with four tick delay going into another block. Then just go ahead place another one on four tick delay going into a block and final one over here also on four tick delay going into the block next to our sticky piston at the start. Then go ahead grab yourself the sticky piston and have it on the first block right here. Then go ahead, press the redstone torch on top of this block and have a sticky piston on top of this repeater right over here. And have one final sticky piston right at the end of this block right there. Then go ahead, grab yourself the observer block and place them facing towards you just like so. Then go ahead and grab your removable object, again this is going to be obsidian for us and place them one block above of this observer. That would mean that it needs to go right there. Then go ahead, place another observer pointing towards you from this sticky piston right there. Grab yourself some block for your choice and basically go just like so, leading to this second piston right over here. Then from that observer, go ahead and have redstone dust with a repeater on full tick delay. Then go ahead, lead that into a block with redstone dust and another repeater going into the uh, sticky piston without of any delay. And believe it or not, our triple piston extender is finished. All we have to do is just go and test it out before we actually build the other two. So just go ahead and have three slime blocks on top of this sticky piston over here with some blocks around that. And you can grab yourself the lever, place it on this block and once you click it, you should see that the triple piston extender is going to do the triple piston retraction. And over here we can see a triple piston extension. Now what we have to do is just mimic this on either side over here and we're gonna do that with out of chatting so you guys can check out the redstone.
And that's our second triple piston extender done. The last thing that we need to do is make another one on the left. So again, we're gonna go with three sticky pistons, leaving one block gap between these guys. And there is just one difference between the redstone. Instead of the three going the normal way, we need to have it go the other way around. So just go ahead and do something like this. And again, we can destroy these blocks and the rest is pretty much the same. There is one last thing that we need to do before we can call this door finished, that's to go to the middle triple piston extender and have this first repeater set to 3 tick delay instead of the 4. The reason for that is because this observer which is the part of the middle triple piston extender is not supposed to be detecting anything, it's just supposed to get pushed by this piston and give the power to the next piston, but because we have them right next to each other you can see that this observer phase is actually gonna get in touch with this redstone and it's going to detect that and we need to stop that because otherwise sometimes Middle triple piston extender is not going to retract all the way because that observer actually detected the redstone when it shouldn't have. So in order to counter that we just need to have this repeater over here set to 3 ticks and all of the rest on 4 tick delay. Then we can just go ahead and basically connect all of these points over here. So basically the bottom blocks of our trees over here with some redstone. So just go ahead and go have it going like this. And we can basically connect that to a lever. And once we click it you can see that our triple piston extenders are going to do the triple piston retraction. Which means that our door is going to open. Once we press it again it's basically going to do the triple piston extension and close our door. So that's basically it. Now it's fully up to you to make a hangar. You can basically store anything that you want behind this door. And of course you can set up the lever wherever you want. You just need to lead it into this redstone. And you can basically create any kind of redstone staircase to lead the lever all the way up over here. Of course if you don't feel inspired and creative at the moment you can just go ahead and take a picture of this and copy my hunger but I would advise you to try and make your own because it always looks better if you make it yourself. But of course you can store anything that you want over here again I would suggest one of the airplanes because they just look amazing and they fit this hangar really nicely but of course again you can put anything that you want in here but that's basically all there is for this video. So if you guys have enjoyed it or find it useful make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new. If you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content make sure to share with them but as always I really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.